we should take in more immigrants. Do you agree with him? Uh, I think my wife's a school teacher, Michael. I do agree with you on some of the issues revolving Hispanics in our schools. That is a problem. Well, I didn't say Hispanics. You did. The Pope said we have an obligation to take in more people than we are already taking in. Do you agree with him or not? I, I think that we should take them in, but there should be a process of screening and legality to it, not just... How, how many should we take in? How many more should we take in? We should take in, you know, a percentage of our overall population, so maybe 300,000 a year, maybe 10%. Oh, really? Do you know how many are coming in now? I don't. Well, you sound like you do because you come from a higher consciousness. Shouldn't you know your facts? Uh, aren't people at a higher consciousness cognizant of all the facts before they open their mouth? Well, well could you, do you always have to be so mean all the time? Yeah, I have to be mean with, with people like you because the only way you understand anything. Because you're so pompous. Pompous people like you need mean people like me to put you in your place. Do you know the real agenda behind the climate change scam? Are you aware of any of that? Do you know how many billions of dollars are being scammed by this? I, I, don't, think, I don't think that's true. Do you have any, do you have any documentation on All right, that? Look, you know, sir, hell is defined as a place where there is no reason. You actually are coming from that place. You have no reason whatsoever. All you have is this pomposity that you're in a higher plane than I am because you believe in the communist a manifesto and I don't. He is a hippie pope. He has shown a seamless marriage between a major religion of Catholicism and the left's doxies. There is no difference between the doxies of the radical left and this pope. Well, I, you know, the, the thing is about this pump is that he... All right, take a walk. You know, you've had too much air time. You had four minutes of national time. Advertisers pay a fortune for that time. Look what you just wasted. I realize your higher consciousness doesn't... Uh, you can't, we can't put a dollar value on how valuable your breath is. But the four minutes that we all wasted listening to you when you said nothing, your great pope comes here and has the nerve to say that no religion is immune from forms of individual delusion, and he doesn't say one word about the Christians who are being enslaved and killed and churches being burned, I guess that's a higher consciousness that I don't want to join. Comes here and he doesn't say one word about Planned Parenthood selling baby body parts. I guess that's a higher consciousness that I uh, certainly don't want to dwell in. Comes here and he talks about the family, doesn't say one word about gay marriage now all of a sudden what the catholic church is engaged in gay marriage the catholic church under this pope has become identical to the extreme left-wing practices of the let us say progressive protestant churches the protestant churches as you know are, are very radically to the left the catholic church used to be the last bulwark against the socialist leftist uh influences it was a really religious organization, very traditional. And now they have shopped around and found their perfect pope. And don't tell me about his higher consciousness. He started as a bouncer. His first job was as a bouncer in a nightclub. So don't give me about the higher consciousness. This is the kind of garbage that they fed people back in Jesus' times, that only they knew the truth. Then they, then they talked in Latin so the average man didn't even understand them. That's why they created this service in Latin. So the average person didn't know what they were talking about. So, oh, wow, look what he just said in Latin. I don't know what he's saying. Man. That's really important, serious. Watch out. God's looking. I'm sorry. This touches such a raw nerve in me. I see the same thing in Judaism. I see the same sanctimoniousness in liberal Judaism that I see in the Pope. And it offends me. Frankly, it's very offensive. WFTL in Florida. Sal, friend or foe, you're on the Savage Nation. Yes. Mr. Savage, I just wanted to let you know that I've been an usher in my Catholic church for 15 years, and uh, we've been getting uh, lectured on taking head counts now after the tithing period in church to uh, identify how many people uh, are represented in the amount of money that's being collected. And I've been getting letters telling me that I need to tithe because I don't use their tithing envelopes to put my money in. I just put cash in the basket so that nobody knows how much money I give. But I've been told that that's not the correct way to tithe. They want to know. Uh oh, they want to know how much you're giving now? They want to account for it? 
Yeah, and they want a head count, too, of all the people that are in the church. Now, I love my church, don't get me wrong, but the fact of the matter is they're really focusing hard on the numbers. And this ties in with the president's agenda of getting the masses to vote in, in a certain manner to use their heart, pleading, pleading on, the, on, the, on the aspects of the heart, the Mother Earth, the things, the intangibles that would drive somebody to donate money, to give money. To tie, it's all a tie-in to the vote is what it all boils down to. Continue the systematic uh, conversion of voters to the Democratic Party, that they're the saviors of the earth. Even though the science has been debunked, it doesn't mean anything, period. But the, the people in the church, the mass is just like they did in Jamestown. They drank that Kool-Aid. And everybody in the Catholic Church, I don't want to say that they're not independent thinkers, but they go lock, stock, and barrel and follow the lemmings. You know, they'll, they'll do whatever the Pope tells them to do, you know. I mean, and there's a huge, huge dimension of the Church that's like that. Now, there are independent thinkers, such as myself, that don't agree with that philosophy. And I will never uh, agree with that philosophy. People have to maintain independent thought on everything. Otherwise, That's correct, but that's what the, ch the Church is against independent thought, though, Sal. All religions oppose independent thought. You do know that, don't you? Absolutely, but I have to maintain. I love I love Christ and I love what He teaches. But you know, see, I'm a I'm a God fearing man, but I don't like organized religion at all. I find organized religion as threatening as organized government. And I have to take you everything with a grain of salt as well. And I that that's exactly right. That's exactly right. And when politics comes near the altar, you have to really be very careful, Sal. Sal, I'm sending you a copy of Government Zero, and please look at the chapter on Lenin's Pope. 8,000 words of sheer genius from a very high consciousness, written by yours truly, a Ph.D. scholar. And every reference is in there for you Doubting Thomases to read. I challenge all of you Doubting Thomases who think that you're from a higher consciousness to read my references on Lenin's Pope, and you will see that you are wrong. Pope Francis is different because he is not a spiritual leader per se. He is a political operative with all the earmarks of having been handpicked for his office. And it would not be the first time the Vatican has been occupied by a political rather than a spiritual leader. Did you know the, pap the papacy is 2,000 years old? Many of you who are calling infuriated that I dare criticize this uh, false prophet don't even know your own history, the history of your own church. You don't know that there have been evil popes in the past, imperfect human beings. There were good popes, honest, wise, deeply spiritual, and there are others who were evil, morons, scoundrels, or worse. There were times when the papacy was the spiritual center of the Catholic faith, and times when it was little more than a political office. And I've given examples of the good ones, like, uh, well, I've given many examples of good ones and bad ones. This one is certainly not the worst of them. Pope John XII was uh, one of the worst. He was both the secular prince of Rome and the pope, but he acted more like the pagan Roman emperor Caligula. He was accused of turning the sacred palace into a whorehouse. Did you know any of that? Or you didn't go, oh, how could he say that? He actually would put deviant liberals in Hollywood to shame. Uh, there are many, many histories that you need to read in order to stay in your higher consciousness. The ironically named Pope Innocent IV tortured heretics, including Galileo, for the heresy of claiming the earth revolved around the sun. And now this Pope joins the other frauds in daring to, uh, daring to question the lie of anthropomorphic warm warming. Just as in the days of Galileo, once, once again the church is resort resorting to medieval thinking. And that's why you should be very, very frightened, my friends, when you see a pope who is as radical as this, cheered, cheered in Congress today. He is renamed Pope Two-Face the Tenth. This is the Savage Nation. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Caller in the last hour who said that he, uh, the Pope speaks from a higher consciousness, and I don't. And he didn't know his own facts. I said, how many immigrants do we take? And he said, 300,000 a year. So it just shows you what a higher consciousness he had. 
We had 1.7 million legal immigrants last year, Mr. Higher Consciousness, and another million that came in illegally last year, Mr. Consciousness. And we take in more immigrants in this nation than all the countries put together, Mr. Higher Consciousness. The Pope wants to crush our borders, language, and culture, Mr. Higher Consciousness. The Vatican has the strictest immigration controls in the world, Mr. Higher Consciousness. The Vatican sits on the greatest gold reserves in the world and doesn't spend a dime of it. Why don't they sell it off? Why don't they sell off the Vatican art and, and take care of all of the people from the South? that this great pope wants it, wants us to take care of. And that's all I'm going to say on this subject. If you want to know more, read Government Zero. You can buy it on Amazon. It'll soon be in bookstores. And then, after you read my words on the pope and other things, and you see my references, call me and debate with me and show how open-minded you are. As this night closes, September 24th, I want to just say it's my deceased mother's birthday. Mama Savage, I know you're in heaven. I know you're making God happy. And God bless you, Mama. You were great.